Hello again, it's Cheryl here with JuicingGardener.com and today is another video in the installment series we're having on the worst mistakes that new vegetable gardeners make. And I'm telling you all my mistakes so you don't have to make the same mistakes. Today's is about setting up your container where you want it to stay because they're too darn heavy to move. This is a big mistake that a lot of people make is they think, oh, I can move it later. Like I've gotten, mostly I have uh, five gallon buckets. Okay, you can see rows and rows of five gallon buckets. They're heavy, but they're doable. See those two right there in the middle, those are bigger than five gallons. And then once you get them wet and filled with these heavy, you know, my plants are over me, my, taller than I am right now, like five and a half, six feet. Um, once they're wet, they're harder to move. And if you move them, they're kind of growing together. You can snap off the uh, complete branches and vines and fruit and lose all your fruit. So you want to place them where they're going to stay. I have these two big fabric pots that I really like. They're by Smart Pots. And if you go down to my um, comment section under the video, I'll have a link for you on where you can buy them. They're fabric and they're really well made. I like them a lot. Um, but they're heavy. I think these are 15 gallons, maybe 10, but I think 15. I, I got some of each. No, I think that one's the 10. That's the 10 gallon, these are the 15s. Um, they're super heavy, they're soaking wet, they're full of vegetables, and I, you know, I can't really move them. I can get help, and I get, they have handles on them, which is why I only get the big ones with handles on them. Um, but the, it just disrupts everything. It disrupts your root system, disrupts your whole um, bag there, your vegetables. This one here, I love, five foot around by Smart Pots. Um, I think it's 12 or 14 inches tall. Um, this thing's not moving anywhere, period, ever. And I made it quite, I thought I, I planned it properly. I put it up against the garage because I figured I could reach from here and I could reach from here. I was trying to save space, but what I didn't realize is I put it too close to the zucchini bed. I put, I've got two of them, the five footers, one here and one here. Well, the zucchinis grew like monsters and I can't get between the two of them. So I, and I put about mm, a foot and a half between them, and I thought that'd be plenty. But now when I want to get back here to my watermelons, no way. I can't get back there. And these need t tended to. They got yellow leaves on them. Some of them are diseased. And I literally, I would have to fly or break all these zucchini branches to get back to them. So I'm wishing I hadn't put the watermelons back there because they're growing into the fence. So they're, they're, they're not going anywhere. Um, so I'm wishing I would have placed these five footers with more space around them. And then over here, same thing. Here's my other five footer. And I put it close to the fence, but I gave myself a foot and a half to walk around. And I have, you can't see, but I have three pots down there of little zucchinis. I can't get to them. Look at this. They're dying. Yellow leaves. I mean, I could, but I'd be breaking all these big zucchini leaves right here. And I just haven't chosen to do that. So I'll go and water them from outside. That's another thing, you can't water them um, when you can't reach them. But I didn't give myself enough space and I wish I hadn't put those three plants around there. Let's see, what else? Oh, same thing if you happen to use the topsy-turvies, which are what you grow tomatoes upside down in. These babies don't move either. They're very heavy. And they have like four legs down on the bottom. But wherever those you start with, you're, they're not moving anywhere. So make sure those are well placed. And I wish I wouldn't have put these tomatoes right under it because all of the tomatoes from the topsy-turvy are growing into the pots below them. And they're so intertwined, I would snap these topsy-turvy vines in a second if I tried to move the buckets under them. So that's today's mistake, is don't place things don't think that you can move them later. You want to place things with lots of space between them and place them where they're going to live your entire season right away. And give yourself more space than you think. I promise you. All right, that's it for today's video. Um, jump down in the comment section and let me know some of your most common mistakes um, so you can save all of us from making them and how you uh, had a solution for them. 
And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel because you'll get to see all the other videos, all the other mistakes I've made, and all the successes, of course. And you'll get a notification every time. You just jump over to the button that says subscribe, and you'll be part of this channel. And uh, get over to my blog at uh, juicinggardener.com. Uh, we're getting ready to do some juicing recipes now that we've got such a, a good amount of produce, and I don't want you to miss anything. So um, make sure you leave a comment, and we're so glad you're here, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.